Oh, hello there once again, motorsport fans, and as always, you are very welcome to this video. Now, today we're looking at removing dints uh, from two stroke expansion chambers. So, I've been playing around this for a couple of weeks, um, gone back and forth, and I found a way which I think works works the best and works well for me. So, I purchased this Minnow, Minnow uh, Pipe Repair Blowout Kit, right? So, this is made for two strokes, one I've got here. And basically, all you get in the kit is it's pretty basic, you can probably make this up yourself at home. You've got a couple of brackets. Bit of thread rod, a threaded rod, and some butterfly nuts, right? And what it does is you put this here, and that'll seal. So I'll just quickly show you how the idea how it works is that'll seal on that end, and this side here will seal on the on the motor side. That's got a just a car valve or a bike valve there. Uh, the brackets obviously hold these on tight. You pump uh, you pump it up, or you put some prayer pressure into about 50 psi. The, the manual recommends 40, but I found about 55 works the best. Um, and then you heat up the dent. So, this is future James talking. So basically, I've already repaired two dints on this pipe. Uh, the first one is here, which is quite nasty. I'll put a picture of it down below of what it was, but I'm really happy the way they come up. And that was right on the weld too. So um, I'm happy with how that, how that came back. Now, the second one here, this is the one I've got footage of, uh, which I'll show you after this. But this is the one I heated up. Um, and it's come up, come up quite good. Uh, it has come back a bit though, so it's actually it's actually come forward or uh, protruding a little bit. You run your fingers over it, it could protrude a bit. So I'm not 100% happy with it, but performance-wise, which is what we're after, we're not really after aesthetics. We're after making sure we get the uh, correct performance out of the pipe. I think we're at 100%. Um, no dramas there. Now, as far as what gas to use, I went. Uh, I have butane on hand all the time, so I tried butane straight away. No good. You really got to get the pipe glowing red. Uh, then I tried LPG, which I also had on hand. No good. So I ended up having to go out and buy some map gas. So this is a hot devil trade map gas, um, basically anything you get from your hardware store. It was about $90. The canisters themselves are only about 15. So once you've got the other uh, nozzle and the igniter, uh, you can keep changing the, um, the canisters. So only about $15, invest, invest in the nozzle and the igniter, and then you can just uh, try, top these out. So once I had this map gas, um, I, I was able to get the heating very quickly into, uh, into the pipes. Um, the other option you have is oxyacetylene, but unless you're a fitter or a, a water maker or a welder, uh, you won't have easy access to that, and uh, I certainly don't. But the, uh, the map gas is very good. Uh, finally, before we start, um, main thing is make sure you're wearing a welder's helmet. Uh, I, wear, well, I wear welder's gloves and um, a welder's jacket as well, because there's a high chance, well, there's potential anyway, these things to pop at you. So um, you've got quite a high pressure in there. Like I said, I'll put 55 PSI, but as you increase the heat, that PSI is going to increase. The pressure inside the pipe is going to increase with the heat. So you're probably sitting at you know 70 or 80 PSI. So if that was to go pop uh, and bang, you want to make sure uh, you're protected. I've got the minnow kit on each end and uh, screwed that on. Um, I'm going to put 50 PSI in. I'll do that in a minute. But here's the dint. Um, so the pipe hit the head. You can see there, and so you're about the size of a, a textile lid there. So it's not that big. Uh, the only thing I've got to be careful of is not to burn the threads and the valve when I when I heat it up. All right, so I'm going to give her a bit of gas, bit of air. Uh, the manual calls a 40 psi, but I found you need to go up to about 55 um, to get good results. So I got about 55 there. So we spent about five and a half minutes on that and we did get most of it out, which I was quite surprised with. Still a little bit hot. Um, so I reckon we're about 90% there. Uh, you still got this here. There's a little mark there. And you can see when it's hot, it marks pretty easily, but it can touch it. It's not too bad. Uh, it's been sitting here for about 10 minutes. Um, you still got a few marks here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try again, uh, get a bit more heat in it.
So I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm relatively happy with the end result. I think performance-wise, we're pretty good, 99%. Uh, aesthetically, it's not ideal. Uh, it is pretty good, a lot better than what it was, but we have got a little bit of lumps. So actually, the, the dins actually come towards me or, or popped on the outside a little bit, and you run your finger over, uh, it's a bit of a lump there. But as I said before, this, this got dinted against the cylinder, so the, the, uh, the, bike got, the, the exhaust got pushed in towards the bike and um, hit the cylinder. So this is the inside of the pipe, so you definitely won't see any of this um, when it's all bolted on. Uh, but yeah, and performance-wise, I think, I think we've uh, fixed it up pretty well.